Hello, good morning or good evening to everyone. Welcome to Mainframe Tutorials. You're watching Mainframe Tutorial PL Bhavan Part 2. It's been a long time that I haven't posted uh, anything about the PL Bhavan Tutorials. I would like to say so sorry about that one. So so this would, this would be the continuation video after the part 1. So today in this video I would like to share you uh, what are the coding formats and rules we need to take care while programming NPL bar 1. So it will be a quite different when compared to a COBOL programming language the coding format is quite different. So let's see how the coding formats and rules we it will be in PL bar 1. So in the column 1 when you look at the coding sheet so it, it has a 80 columns right same like a COBOL program it will have a 18 columns and that 18 columns the first column is reserved for OS that is for operating system and the column 2 to 72 is for PL bar 1 statements and column 3 73 to 80 it's a sequence number or a comments so it is a, it is a quite different from a COBOL right so in COBOL you will have uh, uh, division sections and paragraphs and so and so so whereas for PL bar 1 just into 2 to 72 you can write any statements so so 73 to 80 the so sequence number or comments is mainly used for sequence number or a comments okay all PL bar 1 statements terminate with semicolon so it is a very important point that need to be noted so all PL bar 1 statements terminate with semicolon and the name affixed to the procedure statement is called a label the name affixed to the procedure statement is called a label and the label is separated from rest of the PL bar 1 statement by colon okay so we have we have we here we call it as something as a procedures level identifiers and other things so which I would like to tell you in my next tutorials so so far you can understand like these are the coding uh, format and rules you need to make sure that is in the column 1 it's reserved for operating system column 2 to 72 where you can write your PL bar 1 statements and 73 to 80 it's left for sequence number or comments all PL bar 1 statements terminates with semicolon and uh, the name affixed to the procedure statement is called a label okay and the label is separated from the rest of PL bar 1 statement by semicolon so when it's it's like an uh, initial the first statement of the procedure is nothing but the first statement or the first declaration of the PL bar 1 so after writing the PL bar 1 uh, I mean sorry after writing a procedure statement so it should with with semi uh, colon and all the statements fit end with semicolon okay all the labels will have uh, the colon and all the statements like declaring identifiers it, so it will have a semicolon so okay so thank you so much for watching this video I will be coming with a new topic in my next video so stay tuned to your YouTube channel so if you like this video kindly please subscribe share or comment on my YouTube channel thank you and have a great and pleasureful day